Do we care about the Today on No Penny Pantry part of it? I mean, you say you always say welcome to No Penny Pantry. Welcome to No Penny Pantry today. Does that matter? Today on Don't Panic Pantry, we are making a vegetarian pasta primavera with three colors of vegetables. Diced up broccoli, cauliflower, and red bell pepper get sautéed with aromatics and fresh herbs, then tossed with orecchiette for a delicious, easy weeknight dinner. Mmm! You ever notice how you go to a steakhouse or a fish restaurant and the only vegetarian option is a pasta primavera linguine with, uh, it's like a little overcooked, with really big thick slices of red bell pepper that are a little undercooked and it's like kind of just like the flavor is salt for the most part. I wanted to try to see if we could fix that. We're going to make an orecchiette primavera tricolore, a three color primavera and we're doing one thing that I think is very important. One. We are chopping everything way smaller to make it more kind of saucy and creamy and it kind of comes together in a better way. And we're also going to use orecchiette instead of linguine because linguine is like the least exciting pasta shape after bucatini. Um, and also we're going to use orecchiette because it's I think my favorite pasta shape. We're going to put a little bit of fresh chili in it, some fresh herbs. We are not putting cream in it. We're putting in butter and olive oil and garlic and it's going to be great. Click here to watch me churn butter. Do we have, nope, we don't have that. Okay, we got our uh, pan over a nice medium heat there. Let's take some butter and olive oil and put it in the pan. We're gonna do like uh, about a tablespoon of each to kick things off. You'll notice that we chopped everything up into a pretty small dice, a fine chop, if you will, and that's gonna help it cook faster, help it kind of melt together and make this kind of more unctuous, delicious thing, kind of in the style of how I make a broccoli pasta, like the one in the Don't Panic Pantry cookbook. <laughs> We got a cup and a half of chopped up cauliflower, chopped up red bell pepper, and chopped up broccoli. I also took one red onion, like a small one, diced it up, threw in three cloves of garlic, and one fresh chili pepper. You could also use chili flakes. You could also leave it out if you don't want it spicy. Now we got our oil and butter. We're going to take this guy and uh, dump him right in. And then, as always, we're going to season as we go. Nice pinch of salt, a little black pepper. Throw in a little pinch of dried oregano as well. See, we're already getting three colors in here. We got purple, which will sort of look more red later. I don't know, man. Let this wilt down a little bit. Once this gets kind of nice and tenderoni, then we'll add in the rest of our stuff. Once that goes in, we'll drop the pasta. Then we can start pasta watering in uh, because broccoli and cauliflower both eat a lot of oil. They will continue to eat fat and soak it up, soak it up, soak it up, dry up your pan until all of a sudden it releases all that oil back into the pasta and now you have a really overly oily dish. So the trick to that is pasta water. The pasta water will give you that starchy, salty water. It'll be delicious. It'll help cook your vegetables, but then uh, it evaporates out versus oil, which just sits. Today's episode brought to you by U-Ban. You deserve a cup of U-Ban for the little things you do. Is U-Ban still in business? Something smells good in here. A cup and a half of each of our veg. You deserve a cup of U-Ban, a little more salt and pepper in there. If I keep saying you deserve a cup of U-Ban this whole episode, and then we find out that they're still in business, we're gonna have to send some real quick emails to the U-Ban Corporation. And we can deglaze with pasta water, so we don't need to worry about if it gets a little dry in the pan. If you're a little worried that it's gonna be too dry, you can also cover the pan, and that'll give you a little steam action. Pasta water seasoned like a well-seasoned broth. Orecchiette going in. So let's pick some basil real quick. You could use parsley instead of basil. You could also leave it out entirely, but I think a little bit of a fresh herb at the very end is a nice thing. Welcome back to Herby Slammers, brought to you by U-Ban. You deserve a cup of U-Ban. Really? Are we still not sure? Should I look it up and see if they're still in business? Maybe. Let's find out. See, we're getting a little dry in the pan here, and I'm gonna have more butter at the end, but I wanna just take a little bit of our old pasta water here, give it a little splash, and then scrape up any of those little brown bits. If you wanna make this vegan, it's real simple. Use all olive oil and don't put cheese on at the end. You just made it vegan, congratulations. A little too Albert Dente. If it's too al dente, then it's not al dente. 
It's like Jeff Dente. Crank the heat, transfer our business. And now we can throw in another little pat of butter and another little sluice of pasta water. I'm gonna to try to make like a real saucy situation right here. Turn off the heat, throw in the B. B is short for basil, which defeats the purpose when you explain it after. A little more B pep. I didn't add more salt to this so that it would be a little more daughter friendly. Not like all daughters, just mine who's only one year old. A little squeeze of the old fresh lemon. Mm. We took a steakhouse vegetarian menu option that is real boring and we made it a whole lot better.